and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Go Get It Cygnus. So we have um, a combo deck here, or a deck that's really just focused on uh, being able to grant things elusive. So we're going to be an aggressive deck with Nightfall. Um, and speaking of Nightfall, <laughs> it looks like my, my dog is falling asleep over there, so <laughs> she looks real comfy. But anyway, um, so we'll be an aggressive deck with Nightfall and be able to grant things elusive with Cygnus at the top end. Of course, um, whenever you have Nightfall with Cygnus, you give both it and something else elusive. So we'll be able to do that, but then we'll be able to use Go Get It to pick Cygnus back up and then be able to recast Cygnus with it only costing zero mana and have the new Cygnus and something else, maybe the old Cygnus, be able to grant them elusive as well. So we'll be able to um, do that multiple times. We're also going to be combining that with Fey Guide. Being Fey Guide is also another way to grant elusive, and we can go get it, pick Fey Guide back up, replay Fey Guide, and give more things elusive. So as far as our things to give elusive, uh, we have both of our champions, Diana and Zed, um, are things that can attack for a whole lot of damage, and so giving them elusive uh, works very well, um, especially when you have leveled up Diana and you're playing your Nightfall stuff that's giving it plus two, plus zero. It can get quite big. So that's a great card to give Elusive. And of course Zed. Also Mountain Goat, another just good aggressive card. <clears throat> they, to give this Elusive, it can strike more often. It's not going to die in combat, so you can create more gems. Uh, turn after turn. And then Crescent Guardian. You know, while this can be a 5-3 Overwhelm, it's still, you know, you'd think it'd still have the Overwhelm. Well, if you give it Elusive, it's going to have a less chance of even dying in combat. And so 5-3 Overwhelm Elusive sounds pretty scary. And so that's that's what we got going on. All right, so we got Go Get It, Cygnus. Let's go play our five games in normal. All right, looks like we are playing some playing against some ramp. Scavenger Zero. Scavenger Zero is always here in chat. Uh, let's see. We're going to maybe keep all this stuff. I kind of like this hand. Um, the Crescent Guardian's a little awkward of, like, how are we going to play it with Nightfall and stuff like that. I love the Mountain Goat. Like, Mountain Goat's awesome. Pale Cascade, awesome. Deny, awesome. Um, and now this helps enable the Crescent Guardian. So that works. You know, Deny is very important against Freljord Shadow Isles. Well, let's see. So I was thinking, like, you get to stop the Give It All, but they're not going to be a Give It All deck. They're probably going to be Ledros Atrocity with, with only playing Trundle as the only champion. Yeah, I'm sorry, Scavenger Zero. We got, we got paired. Can see the border from here. Oh, that's a great blocker here. No more hiding. Yeah, feel the rush. Not give it all. Good call. Feel the rush. Yeah, feel the rush. That's what I meant. Nothing escapes my watch. Okay, so we're gonna go. Temperamental as we're gonna go with this and get a 5 3 overwhelm. <laughs> Safeguard our homes. You cannot hold us down. So it could be setting up Avalanche. I have Deny for Avalanche. Alright. Basically keeping my you know, keeping my mountain goat alive. These Averroes and Sentries are just, you know, pretty awesome, right? Like they just trade with my stuff, draw cards. So now Scavenger Zero is up two cards. I have a similarly sim similarly powerful effect with the Pale Cascades. Devotion to battle. I'm honestly surprised I didn't block the Mountain Goat. Could, considering the Slayer Soldier would just go back to being two health afterwards, unless you know, I guess just you know, going for Avalanche. No, not going for Avalanche. Hmm. Let's take this outside. This one's on the house. The 
trolls are going to war. That card's pretty good. I guess I shouldn't go for Cygnus yet. Because I don't have, like, Deny available with Cygnus. Yeah, Frostbite cards are going to be what, what will really hurt here if they have a Frostbite card. Um, if it's, you know, like, Grass the Undying, I can use Deny. Yeah, the Burst Speed cards. Okay. That's good for me. Try to get this Guardian in play. There was the avalanche thought they had before. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Scavenger's Ear is not stream sniping. These old eyes still see far and clear. I wish I had one more mana and I could have Deny available. That is the third Crescent Guardian. Second Avalanche, hopefully not another Avalanche. Okay, good. I do have two Denies available. I could play Zed first. Zed double deny. Without a sound. They have like ice pillar to block Zed. King of Trolls coming through. Or that thing to block Zed. They your master. I have many faces. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Going down to four. You got a problem? Oh no. Their hand is not good if they're doing this. Alright. I'm definitely considering letting that resolve. The biggest problem probably with letting that resolve... You know, obviously, so like Ledros is what we gotta be scared of here. It's like, how is like, how is Ledros killing us? This is the big question. Got yeah, like Ice Pillar, Ice Pillar, Ledros. I think these two denies are going to win it for me. Ledros is going to be kind of rough. Could deny that and not take 10, but I'll just take 10. Yeah, they could have the, the two Ice Pillars challenge both my things and then have Ledros attack me and put me down to one. These are um, which I would have done. I would have just gone down to one. Uh, that, that makes their life a little bit more difficult. Of surviving here. I know, like... But they could not break me. And then they could have, like, Atrocity plus uh, the two mana card to kill me. But I wanted, you know, I wanted Solari Soldier to be able to turn on Cygnus. 
you know, going for the elusive kill, of course, this turn. So yeah, this should be GG's. They'd have to, like, play their own elusive blocker, basically. Which this could, this could create a Lunari Shade Stalker. Like, that's what they would kind of need. So I think we just counter this. Because that's what they need, is an, is an elusive blocker. Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is old as Solari and Lunari alike. I cannot turn back. All right, Cygnus. Follow the horizon. There we go. A full moon casts her light across the land. Uh, okay, yeah, you just had a couple of of the roars. Gotcha. No other ways to do damage. Alright, we had Sejuani Swain. So, I like this. Diana's Champion spell being Pale Cascade. That's that's one thing that's really good about um, the Nocturne Nightfall deck with Nocturne and Diana. Is both Diana and Nocturne have incredibly good champion spells. So we're gonna test our opponent, see if they pass. They should pass. Can see the Demacian border here. Okay, they did not. But they get to draw a card. Man, Fey Guide elusive on this Diana with all these pale cascades could just be insane. Like if we get if we get leveled up Diana, then each pale cascade is a plus four, so like each one's a decimate. Or we just have Zed into Fey Guide. That also works well. So if they're playing Avalanche, we're pretty dead if I just go Fey Guide. Or I just like attack and have like two Pale Cascades, but one of them won't draw a card. It's just attacking out doesn't make a ton of sense. All right, are they gonna play? Come, a new phase away. I hope they don't play Avalanche. Avalanche would wreck me real hard. Yay, not Avalanche. The bad news is, is it... Yeah, the bad news is it is a paralyzing bite. It's our time. Let's talk about your dad. We'll get a Nightfall Pell Cascade going here. Moonlight guide me. Two out of four for Diana now. Get a new card in hand. Good way to stop an avalanche, but of course I don't. I don't think they have avalanche because they did. They should have just played it the previous turn. I became a soldier. African my soldier. Sorry, that's what you sound like. Spark and I will keep you safe. Pledge or perish. Zero. Just gonna take it. I don't know if I'm supposed to play a Pale Cascade first and make these six. That would almost level up Swain by itself. I am the Claim what is ours. That's a pretty scary Zed. Still see far and clear. So now it's a 5-3 elusive, and the living shadow that it creates will also be a 5-3 elusive. Bow to no one. <clears throat> Alright, so we have to cast Concussive Palm this turn. That's going to cost 4 mana. Night flowers upon my you know, basically whatever is challenging the Zed. 
we have to concuss attack. upon that. Ride onward. We are at war. We are at war. I guess I block with Fake Iden. Over here. I suppose. Nope. Our light grows. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Cool. Got another Diana's Pill Cascade back. Run. This is working out pretty well. Give that Diana elusive. That's that's what we got. Five three elusives across the board. Oh no! Stuns that one. No more well, we still got these two. That's ten. And I can make it, you know, four more with pill cascades. Sorry, Culling Strike. We got Pale Cascades. Alright, GG's. There we go. Cygnus Elusives. 2 0. So, Shadow Isles with Fizz. I don't know what that's exactly a boot. We're gonna mulligan this card and that card. We'll keep Diana, that could be a very good challenger. We'll keep Zed, which is just an awesome card. Right now, I'm, I think I'm probably just gonna play nothing on turn one, nothing on turn two, and then turn three have Zed with Twin Disciplines as protection slash pump. Okay. Basically, the only time you play Coral Creatures is decks that are playing Mind Meld. So I think we can have a pretty safe assumption that they're going with Mind Meld with Fizz. That makes the sense. They won't suffer long. Wonder where Shadow Owls is all boot. Vile Feast, Unspeakable no Horror, no things that are spells that put bodies, that gives you bodies, because you know you want to play as many spells as possible. Glimpse Beyond, good spell, draws you cards. No Thrash, just Fizz. Yeah, Spooky Fizz. Passing. Stay hidden. Fake Eye Zed is pretty sweet. Why have we, like, never played Fake Eye Zed? I don't know if they're going to be, like, a Ruination deck. Yeah, like, is Ruination going to be a thing? So, I don't know. Like, obviously, I could play more things. Like, I could play Mountain Goat into Diana... You know, like we have lots of mana. I'm ready, baby. You'll regret when I leave this. But also, this puts a ton of pressure on them already, and so I just feel like we don't have to put don't more pressure out you. there, and then just get ruination away. surprising they just let that hit them first and then go for it. I guess, you know, like they're thinking heal the Nexus. Okay. 
sure they have ways that deal one damage. Yeah, go hard. Oh, I should have played Diana to get... I guess I could have played Diana and then gotten Pale Cascade. Available. By the moon's crescent yeah, I didn't, I didn't need to do that with the Nightfall. Oh. Unexpected. Oh, well, I can't ruination right now. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully they are finished. Keep your head down, okay? I don't think that it makes much sense to... I don't think it makes like that much sense to attack with all these 3-2s into the 1-1s. I don't think we need to do that. No, we just don't need to do that. And yes, I probably gave probably gave the wrong thing elusive. Sorry, I, I wasn't really thinking there. Probably gave the wrong thing elusive. I should I should have just gave like a three two elusive. Yeah, I, I did the wrong thing there. Not the Diana. I am so glad they passed me. That's great. Don't really know exactly why they did, but we'll take it. Our light grows brighter. All right, so I'll be them taking 17. I still have another Pell Cascade and a Deny available. Alright, well. There we go. Yeah, they couldn't, they just couldn't pass where they were at. I don't know exactly what their plan was gonna be. But they couldn't pass with that kind of board and just let me attack. Alright, so we're, we're taking it on over to ranked. Uh, that's what Twitch chat wants to see. We are uh, doing well so far with our deck and they wanted to see it for the last two games in ranked so we're gonna just go ahead and head on over there let's see how we do we're going to uh mulligan deny they have like single combat and concerted strike which are both very good cards to, to deny but most of the stuff in their deck does not get denied i can see this being a huge problem fiora and shen i am not looking forward to this matchup <laughs> to be honest, I think we may be a little bit in over our heads against those cards, but we'll see. Challengers with free barriers, and we're playing all smaller units. This doesn't sound like a good combination as far as a matchup goes for us. We'll see. Hopefully they do not have their champions, you know, like their their deck is really built around their two champions. Maybe they don't have theirs. You know, I don't, I don't have mine, so maybe they don't have theirs. Oh, darn it. I, now I have one of mine. That means they have one of theirs. Because that's how it works, of course. They forced us to choose death or the blade. They would fall by my blade. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Queen Sister. Our light grows brighter. Devotion to battle. Face your heretic. Okay, that worked. Everything I've worked for. That's awesome. Or that's that is great. We swim within the flows of magic. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go Solari Soldier to turn on Crescent Guardian. Crescent Guardian five three overwhelm. That's number three for Diana. 
maybe should just attack. What are they playing? Okay, if I go Fey Guide, what are they playing? But if I if I attack, I have Concussive Palm available. It's like they, you know, they use a barrier on their River Shaper, and then I Concussive Palm it. And then it turns this thing into a 3-2, so I can block over here. Come, a new phase. With that barrier plus deny, which is certainly possible. That's very bad for me. Strike, we will reform. Her yeah, they were definitely doing that. And I really hope this works. Please no deny. No deny, no single combat. What form will the waters take? No. So they take nine, go down to four. We're gonna try to have Fey Guide help finish them up next home. turn. All right, let's see what we got. Zed. I'm not sure if I lead with Fey Guide or lead with Zed. I think I lead with Zed. Give them less knowledge about the Fey Guide. Because it's it's basically Concerted Strike is their only card that keeps them alive. And so I was hoping that by playing Zed they would tap under Concerted Strike. Or single combat. I guess you know single combat keeps them alive as well. Stay hidden. All right, GG's. That was a great win. That turn three, Diana killing the Fiora worked out perfectly. All right, game number five. Do we get to do a five zero <laughs> with Go Get It, Cygnus? Forgot that we have Go Get It in our deck, right? Like, we haven't seen that card yet. Man, this is going to be terrible if they have Avalanche. Great if they do not have Avalanche. Right? Now, I could just wait. I guess we can be a little bit better against Avalanche by not playing Solari Soldier immediately. We don't really have to. Nothing escapes my watch. Man, these Avaros and Sentries are killing me. Killing me. My ideal turn is playing Zed this turn, but I can't I can't cast Zed and then they cast Avalanche. So I can play one drop and then Shade Stalker. Bless the faithful and sear the heretic. Invisible to the ignorant. So this route at least gives lets me have Pale Cascade to go along with Zed. Avalanche obviously still demoralizing. They had it. It was like their first card. The extra mana from Weirding Stones allowed them to do that. Oh, oh, that's too bad. I guess I need to be more patient and just wait even longer and wait till I had Deny available, I guess. I don't know. This'll take the chill off. Man, just brag about it. Let's take this outside. Coming through. 
Crescent Flame. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. Doesn't look good, but it's not. Not over. We could maybe get a surprise kill with lots and lots of damage. That's the hope. and draw a card. Okay, Cygnus. We could, we could definitely do 19 damage next turn if they just have no interaction at all. Right, like if I would just do like Twin Disciplines plus three and then Crescent Guardian and then Cygnus and give these Overwhelm, that'd be like 10... Uh, 17, 19, yeah, that, 19, oh, then, then the plus three here. Oh, I don't have the mana for Crescent Guardian plus Cygnus, that's nine mana, never mind. So I can't play anything oh, and Cygnus awaits. and have Deny. Arise in our time of need. Oh, I don't know why I'm not challenging the 08 with one of these things. I, like, never do that. I always forget about doing that. All right, we're going to try putting them down to 10. Oh. Keep this protection available and, you know, try to kill them with Cygnus next turn. Yes, Trund Trundle's pretty broken. Stay hidden. And let's take this outside. This one's on the house. This is gonna be fun. Over here! Why not deny? Cause to, I need to be able to. I need to. I need to be able to keep deny for atrocity, ruination, that kind of stuff. So I gotta play Cygnus. Five, eight. Yeah. So I gotta play Cygnus. So I gotta just go for this and have deny available. Obviously I wanted to have one more thing, but like they, they made a really good attack with having their 3-3 three, three challenge my 3-3. Three, three. That was a really good attack for them, doing that. See, denying this was more important than denying the atrocity thing. <laughs> just have two atrocities. Sweet life. Yes, I mean, they just had everything. They had the avalanche they needed. You know, double atrocity, they made a really good attack there. They just they just had it all. That avalanche was the most devastating thing, of course. Um, and not only just the avalanche, but the avalanche plus the vile feast they needed the O4 to be able to ramp them into. So they had to have... Because, you know, I, I played around avalanche, but they had avalanche plus vile feast. Yeah. So yeah, y'all are saying that you want atrocity nerfed to 7 mana. Yeah, you could not double atrocity if it was 7 mana.
Uh, we had no go get the whole time, right? We played five games, just didn't even draw go get It's not like I mulliganed it away or anything. We just never, never drew it the whole time. So that's that's a little unfortunate that we didn't get to see like the cool combos with the go get -its. But both Fey Guide and Cygnus looked good, and uh, honestly, our deck, you know, just our deck looked good. Like of just, you know, having like this aggressive stuff of having both uh, Fey Guide and Cygnus give things elusive. Even just yeah, Fey Guide, Fey Guide was really good. That, that card's awesome. Um, you know, Zed into Fey Guide's pretty sweet. So, so there we go. That's that's our deck. Go get it, Cygnus. It uh, yeah went did awesome. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.